Yeah, just to start off then, some sad news yesterday, obviously, about Ben Harrison sadly passing away. Just a word on him to start off. Yeah, it's a big loss to the club um, and also obviously to the family and uh, the condolences go out to, to them and uh, it's a sad time for everybody and um, the club will be there for them and I think they need from us because the way he started this football club will never be forgotten and he was a massive part of the club and, and he'll always be remembered. He will be, yeah. Thanks very much. So we're uh, moving on to Tuesday night then, it was obviously a great result. You spoke about the team's ability to refocus after a blow in the second half, obviously stop its time. How much of a positive is that moving forward then as, as they continue to gel and gear up for the, the second game of the season in the league? The reaction in the games is huge because, like you say, we, we should have seen the game out. We made a little mistake. It's cost us and it would have been easy for the, the players to just sulk and, and, and lose focus. So it's important they just regain the focus of the penalties and credit to them. We've done that and, and we won the tie in the end. But we've also got to learn from the mistakes as well. But the character we've got on the pitch and in the group at the moment is um, it, it, it's good. We've just got to keep answering it and keep pushing towards because there's going to be challenges throughout the season. And the mentality and character is a huge part of that. Yes. There were three performances across the front line, obviously in Norris, Dennis and Sam Taylor, as well as the return of Kane Herrings as well, which has given you more options going into the MK Dons game this weekend. How much of a boost could that be as the games start coming thick and fast? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, I've mentioned it in many many interviews is that the game's changed now because of the because of the additional time. You're looking at close to 110 minutes of game of football. So we've got to make sure that we manage that and especially the front end of the pitch they're the ones who exhaust the most power the most pace and we've got to make sure that we manage their manage their load because we're in a position now where we've got we've got really good options up there and we've got players that will come in and go out and, and it doesn't weaken the side we will never we never weaken the side but the quality of the points we've got up there now it doesn't do that it's just different profiles now for different games and the players are in a good place. We know that when we, we play a game, come the 60 or 70 minute mark and we turn around, you know we've got really good options to impact the game. Yeah, I was just going to mention the depth as well. Obviously, Tuesday showed that, as you say. So are you pleased with the strength and depth of the squad or are you still looking to strength, strengthen in certain areas? Yeah, recruitment never stops. We've said it many a time is that if something comes up that we feel is better, and that's the key word, better than what we've got, then we'll, we'll look into it. Because what we don't want to do now is just add bodies. We've got to add something that's going to improve the starting eleven. So we're constantly on with that and we're always spinning things in the background, but it's got to be right for us in the club before we bring them in. Yeah. Sam Taylor, who was fantastic on Tuesday, is an example of players coming through our education hub, obviously here at the campus, with Mikey Davis also signing first team contract this summer. How beneficial is it to you to have players coming through the education system here, like Sam and Mikey? Yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's another avenue for us, recruitment. We talk about recruitment, that's a part of recruitment. And we're developing and we're still recruiting them at a point to come into the college and we've had some good players come through and we're constantly training and we have players from the college joining in with us and it's a, it's got a good it's got a good um, environment there and it's a good way to progress and Sam Taylor's a, a testament to that and he's been great since he's been with us Sam he's, uh, he's improving all the time again we're conscious conscious we've got to manage him but he's He's part of our front line now, he's one of the options. We don't look at him now as a young player, we look at him as part of that front line and he's well and truly in our thoughts every time we're selecting the team. Another player who did well on Tuesday was Reese McAleer, obviously putting a strong showing at right back. Could this performance be a boost in terms of your thinking going into this weekend's game? Well, the way he performed, it can't not be. I mean, his performance was outstanding. He made one slight mistake in the whole game and other than that, I thought it was a really strong performance from him. And, um, he showed great character and mentality, he's gone into there, his profile suits the position. So sometimes I look at players and I don't look at where they play, I look at what profile and attributes they've got and look if it suits that position that how I want it to look there and, and, he, and he does that and he showed some really good quality on the ball going forward as well as defensive attributes. So he put in another positive performance and we've got we've got decisions to make for Saturday. I mean in the last couple of seasons I've been here is the starting eleven has near enough picked itself one or two players you look at that now and it's not the case there's so much competition and the squad's in a good place we still need to add one or two we feel but again it's got to be better than what we've got but we'll uh, keep looking to improve and like i say it's a real good uh, position at the moment yeah mk dons obviously this weekend's opposi opposition then they put in a strong performance against the well fancied wrexham side last weekend to start their season how much of a challenge are you expecting from them this saturday yes every game is a challenge the, the, the style of play of the teams now is so different, everyone's style is different. So these play a back three like Barrow did, but they won't play it in the same style as Barrow. The way Barrow sit deep and 
try and counter, it's going to look completely different. The spaces are in different places. These will be up and at them a little bit more, like Graham Alexander's teams are compared to them. So it will be a challenge, a different type of challenge, whatever the game is. And it's just important that we get our organisation right out of possession. And we know our patterns of play that will hurt them when we're in possession of the ball. And ultimately, it's about getting the result. Well, it is. Then do you feel like we kind of proved on last week's season opener to be able to carry the momentum from Tuesday's results into this game? We can improve from every game. So it's not just it's not just improving from defeats or draws, it's improving when you win as well. So I said to the players after the game on Tuesday, the teams who get success throughout the season, grow throughout the season, they don't just stand still or, or dip to get better as the season goes on. So it's important that we keep doing that, whether we win, lose or draw. We've got to improve week in, week out, so that we are where we need to be coming into the, the season.